Welcome back. It's still the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. In the early hours, in the early hours of last Saturday, unidentified gunmen attacked and bombed the house of the President General of Ohaneze Ndibu Worldwide, Professor George Obioso at Awo Omama in Orui's local government area of Imo State using uh, what was described as improvised explosive devices, IEDs, and petrol bombs. Now, eyewitnesses were reported as seeing the attackers drive into the compound of the President General at about 6.15 a.m., shooting indiscriminately for over 15 minutes before setting the house ablaze. Uh, properties worth and valuables worth uh, millions of naira were destroyed in the attack, and Mr. Biozo's brother's houses were also set ablaze. The attack had the trademark of the indigenous people of Biafra, uh, leading to speculation that the outlawed group agitation for the creation or agitating for the creation of an independent state of Biafra from the southeastern part of Nigeria and some parts of the South South may have been behind it. The indigenous people of Biafra had on Monday, however, exonerated itself from the attack. In a statement signed by Ima Pafo, its spokesperson, uh, the group described the attack on Obiozo's house as a barbaric shameful and disgraceful act. The condemnation of the attack on the country home of the President General of the Apex Igbo Social Cultural Organization has also come from leading voices in Nigeria, with President Buhari uh, among them. In a statement, he described the attack as deeply distressing. I'm glad to see we have joining us to throw some light on this and you know answer questions regarding this unfortunate incident. The, National Publicity Secretary of Ohanese in Nigbo Worldwide. Joining us from Enugu is Dr. Chiedozi Alex Obonia. And Dr. Alex Obonia, thanks for joining us and good morning to you. Hello, Dr. Alex Obonia, are you there, please? Yeah, I'm, I'm there with you. All right, thanks for joining us and good morning to you. Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, um, can, can you please tell us, for those who you don't want to hear from the horse's own mouth, as it were, uh, uh, what happened on Saturday at the country home of um, Professor Obiozo. Yeah, um, Ohanez has not um, issued statement on that. And it's very deliberate. It's very deliberate because we don't want to be in a hurry to issue statement. Uh, sometimes people may hurriedly issue statements and uh, sometimes, maybe on suspicion of one thing or the other, they may misstep. So because of that, we very greatly decided to issue statements of the some basic um, um, investigations are conducted before we'll be able to know the exact uh, position. As a matter of fact, uh, what most people suspected, they thought his IPOP, that you can see IPOP came out, came out to disclaim and also to condemn the water food that was built out as, uh, as barbaric. And of course, dissociated themselves from such barbaric act. And they don't have anything, any reason for to attack Professor Gioza, the resident. The same way, uh, many other groups have condemned what happened. So I, I am sure that in the South East as a whole, there's a kind of racism that is arising as feeling of alienation and the, uh, marginalization or the indignity that is being maintained by the people of the South East. So people, a lot of people are angry and uh, this is giving into kind of frustration with the system. So uh, most people say IPO of IPO, but it's important to say that it is beyond IPO. That is to say. There are many other groups, uh, individuals, that feel like grief and want to express the grievances in many other ways. Uh, so uh, as, uh, the, that's why uh, Anesha has been pleading with all people who love Nigeria to see whether this singular request we are making on the support of Nigeria can be granted. And that request is that in about 53 years after the Nigerian Civil War, they are not, yes, they are not giving a, a, a good sense of belonging in the governance structure of Nigeria. Uh, it is my belief that um, all these things will have to reduce on the agitation and uh, the peace will return in the past. 
So, like I said, a lot of people are aggrieved, and that is uh, heightening the insecurity of the in the south. Mm. But let me quickly add that uh, it is about a year ago, precisely about before April 4 last year, that all these things started. Before April 4 last year, the south is was considered the most the safest, the most secure, the most peaceful state uh, zone in the whole Nigeria. Until the correction center was uh, or prison was attacked at the way. And if you look at the where the prison is located, you see that it's very, very close to government house, very close to police and so on. So, so for any group to have the really peace capacity to overwhelm the police network there and also to uh, enter the uh, correctional center and release the prisoners. Then we think as though who has the capacity to do it. Uh, so all these things are the way driven. It is difficult to say that those that uh, uh, I probe or this that they have the such capacity to overwhelm uh, uh, correctional center with all the security that gets around. So on as a matter of fact, uh, we are not very very clear how this is beginning to happen and for now we are not being able to try it all down. It's also a sign of the failure of security system in Nigeria. Because for a long time this has been happening. And it doesn't appear to me that the security network are able to overwhelm the mysteries that are going on carrying out this operation. So I on the call on the calls of the federal government to improve on the security network. All right. All right. You see how this can be brought to order. Thank you. Okay, int interesting. Uh, um, Dr. Alex Obonia, um, you are saying that the, uh, uh, your organization has not released a statement officially, uh, but, but, but we, know, we know what happened. Uh, it's, it's, it's documented. I'm looking at pictures on my uh, tablet right now of, uh, of, of a, the, the burnt house. It looks like uh, what can be described as a premeditated attack. You know, uh, improvised explosive device devices being detonated, uh, petrol bombs being used. Would you agree with those experts who've um, also shared that same view to say that this is an, a premeditated attack, planned and coordinated? Yeah, I, I'm very. I want to. I want to agree with you that it's premeditated and coordinated. But what I said is not clear. It's people that have perpetrated the act. For us, it's not yet clear. He will say government is working hard, and I'm very sure they will come with uh, their own report. Uh, but Nigerian police, uh, President Buhari has also given out instruction that this book will be uh, found out. Uh, so, uh, it's true, it's coordinated, it's true that it's premeditated. But it's also true that for now, as I'm talking to you, we are not been able to know the people that did it. Uh, everything said is right. Okay. But to say these are the people that did this, these are where I am coming from. We don't have them now. Oh, uh, uh, Dr. Obonia, um, um, some people, some security experts that we talk to from time to time, are always of the opinion that um, the, the chiefs and the uh, traditional rulers, rulers of thought, and even governments of certain states and communities where you have insecurity or acts of insecurity or security breaches, no the people behind these things. If you're talking about banditry, if you're talking about gunman attacks, if you're talking about terrorism, uh, not a few security experts will always say that they know those behind this. Are you, are you saying that no one in the entire Ohaneze in Digbo can, can, can put a finger to say these are the boys or the people who did this? Because they come from somewhere, most likely in the Southeast. That you know, it seems to research the army perceive the role of Ohanese and people. Just like myself, I'm an academy. I'm, I don't think I'm given to investigation. So, we, you know, Hanese, we wait for, we have division of labor. We wait for police, uh, detectives, DSS, and lots of them. It will give us information about what happened. But do you do you have do you have a, a leading within your your group? I mean, whilst you're doing division of labor, um, do you know 
where these boys or these men or women, whoever they were, came from. Does anyone oh, in the, in the Ohanese apparatus? Say, yes. They're not important to know. They tell what they are told. And um, like I said, repeatedly, the uh, Imoche government is well working hard on that. Okay. The federal government is working hard on that. So very soon the report will come out. All right. All right. Um, um, what, what, could, what, could, what, what, what would lead you know, such, you know, uh, a, to such attack on the country home of such a revered personality who is at the top of such an important organization, not just in the Southeast, but in Nigeria. Um, if you are agreeing it's premeditated, if you are agreeing it's also calculated and coordinated, what, what do you think could have been the reason, could have led to such an attack? Because we know in the times past that um, uh, um, uh, uh, Professor Obioso has has had some statements, made some statements about uh, so-called unknown gunmen, you know, about IPUB and all that he has said in the southeast. Is is that indication as to what may have been the reason for this attack? Well, something that is uh, very clear to everybody in Nigeria is that our, uh, our youth, our youth, boys and girls in the southeast, they are almost infected with people of our class, by age group, I mean class, whereas the elder ones in the South East are urging them to be patient, believing that it shall be well with Nigeria and the South East, believing that maybe by 2023, the alienation and migration will stop, believing that People that are very patriotic and love this country will visit together to see how the uh, uh, how the alienation towards the people will stop. So why the other the younger ones are saying that what they are looking for is why good things. That is that what they are looking for is more feasible. That this is so this thing has started a long time that is likely to continue. That we are rather wasting our time thinking that the power will come to us. On the other hand, they are very angry with my, even myself as I'm talking. You know, so uh, that is no longer what, what people call IPOB now. What I'm saying is that there have been proliferation of agitation groups in the South East. People are very good of my agreed. So what to know what we do not know is that the group that did this. Whether it is the iPhone, iTop, uh, this or that or that, or non government or whatsoever. That is what we say we don't know. But we know what is clear that the people that this is are green, premeditated, coordinated. Okay. okay. Uh, we know. Doctor, 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 we also is, know yes. that some of these attacks come from outside to disarticulate and disorganize the Southeast. What, what, what? To give them a bad name, to create a bad image for the South East. When you so say, when you talk about yeah. South East, it will appear as uh, there are people who are in violence, people who are not uh, organized to even lead themselves and to Nigeria. So yeah. this is a possibility. Yeah, Dr. Obioso, so we uh, Dr. Dr. Obioso when, when, when you say, when you say, um, Dr. Bonia, sorry, when you say um, it, could, it, it could have also groups from outside the South East, coming to launch attacks in the southeast. Uh, which groups are you referring to? Honestly, you know, in politics, uh, anything can happen. I want to tell you that some people are very happy that southeast is disarticulated now. They are happy that uh, all this is happening in southeast, so that they have, if you be their talking point in their own uh, form of acquisition of power, uh, if you be their talking point, don't you see what is happening in southeast? You know, how do you think they can read Nigeria? Look at what is happening. It is becoming their talking point, so they are happy. They can also it. So know, who, who, are, who are these working. these external and external forces or people you are talking about um, uh, that may be coming to the southeast to attack? You know, of leading figures in the south. Who are these these groups you're referring to? No, no, no. Like I said, I can none have been established. I said it is possible it's internal, it is possible it's external. So are, are you just speculating or are you co conjecturing here? Is this in the realm of speculation? No, try to understand. I said that many possibilities, including external. It's external is a possibility. I told you that what happened in Correctional Center in Nemo 
was devoid of internal uh, cap uh, relative capacity. The relative capacity of the boy is to overwhelm the correction, the security network in the correctional center, overwhelm them. The child has a 1,700 inmates. Whether they have the relative capacity to do so, all these things are possibilities that they can come from outside. But we cannot say it now. And then you want to avoid it to do it, to say that this is the people, this is the people that did it. Mm. So we're taking some time, and that's why we issued a statement of any kind. Perhaps maybe in a long, before long, this, this is will become clearer. But what take note, take from me, in, in, I take home here, is that people of South East are not happy. And so long as one part of the country is sad, eventually the ripple effect will affect other play, other parts of the country. That is why men of good will to come together or think about how the marginalization and the alienation of the evil of the South East should stop. All right, all right. Doc, Doc, um, 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 you're talking about marginalization and you're talking about... Uh, um, I mean, yeah, you've talked about marginalization. And, and it, 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 some would say that you're playing the same script again that has led to the current situation. In other words, some of accused the leaders, uh, opinion leaders, traditional leaders, cultural leaders, social cultural leaders, the intelligentsia of, uh, of, of Indigo, um, you have the, the political leaders and, and religious leaders of massaging this situation till it became like this. Some have pointed out that you know, the genesis of the situation was when someone came up and started shouting and talking and inciting people, you know, and that all of you did nothing. None of you came out to condemn. None of you came out to say, keep quiet, this would lead us down. Whilst others were shouting that this is going to lead us down the road, we don't want to go. And you, you basically sat back whilst the Pandora's box was opened. And now you are uh, at the receiving end and suffering and still crying marginalization when you could have done something at the point when the Pandora's box has been open, and now it's too late. Almost like what happened in the Northeast. So the, 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 the idea for those who say these things is that you're basically just enjoying what you encouraged. Now, uh, 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 except what was to be unfair to the leader, about uh, four years, five years ago, I was the president of an SMB in the Enugu State chapter, and Kifunyawodo uh, was the president general. Uh, at a point, the house of Kifunyawodo was bombed. At a point, uh, a girl of threat was issued on Kifunyawodo. Why was that? Because Kifunyawodo, uh, uh, okay, now, at a point, they wanted to stop an election in Anambra State, where uh, Obi announced an election. We, we have been urging them to stop, we are urging our youth to stop what they are doing. We have been urging them. The first inaugural speech by Obiozo, Obiozo urged them to stop what they are doing. If you go to uh, um, Omahi, as the chairman, South East Governor Forum, he would oppose to the, the, the approach, even when the recognition of the alienation and migration. So we didn't sit back. But the point is that when you are talking to your children, you know, you, you go the positive. Sometimes you can you, you use the carrot and the stick mechanism. Uh, so, but we've been talking. So, if you Google the past remarks by the president of one nation, you see that we are not going to have low value. But there's something is very obvious. What is obvious? If you look at the uh, Inspector General of Police, uh, the, the armed forces, and the, all the security architecture in Nigeria, you don't find any problem from the southeast. That is why, in a way, all the things that are happening now, uh, the security is, is, is uh, loaded in the hands of uh, people from one section of the country. Uh, is it the way to run a, a democratic society that has people of diverse ethnic groups? It's not. So this is give basis and lay the foundation for the agitation. So you find it difficult really to stop the younger ones. Because everybody is staring on your face that things are not working well. 
Mm. Okay. Uh, uh, in, indeed, it's a, it's, a, it's a grim situation, um, you know, and indeed the, 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 the history you've, re you've recounted is true um, with the former uh, Ohanez Indigo President General um, Nia Odo. But, but the, the situation right now in the southeastern part of Nigeria is really grim. I mean, if, if for those who've been traveling through that part of the country, either moving from state to state or moving from the south-south to the southeast or so, um, re the report you know, not seeing uh, any security presence of either military or police or, you know, um, whatever. What they see is um, uh, community vigilante uh, who have become a law to themselves, um, who have blocked major roads, who are collecting rent and collecting money on the streets and are cocking guns at drivers and cars and threatening to shoot if you don't pay them money. You know, I've had people drive through the Southeast who have reported seeing bodies. Some, some, someone told me they saw a human heart on the road. You know, some have been kidnapped. You know, we have a situation between, on the, on the border between, or boundary between Abia State and uh, um, Anambra, and, and Imo State, sorry. Uh, a lot is going on there. A lot of people have been kidnapped. In different parts of Imo State, including Okigwe, you have uh, traditional rulers who can't stay at home. They've run away because their colleague traditional rulers have been kidnapped. One was killed last year. Um, you know, it, it, it's a grim situation. Now, what's the solution to this? The current Anambra state governor, uh, he said, is one of those states that uh, is going through a lot. Uh, uh, Charles Solidor has said that he will dialogue with aggrieved parties. But we do not know, you know, some of these people, like we hear the term unknown government. We're seeing, you know, where, for instance, uh, uh, messages being posted on people's gates on the streets telling them that unknown gunmen are coming. Um, what's the solution to this very dire situation? Bearing in mind the fact that um, uh, Governor Hopo Zodima was summoned by President Mohamed Buhari and he went to see him regarding the security situation, the president on Monday, it was reported, had approved uh, the deployment of more security personnel, uh, more arms, more ammunition to address the security situation in Imo State. This is something that has been done before. Whenever it's done, you know, people of the Southeast come out to condemn the government, asking why are you bringing Operation Python down? So why bring in Operation Puff and all these things to our, our, our doorstep? We don't want it. But now we have a governor going to ask for it. Um, will this be a solution, this deployment of more security personnel, more arms and more ammunition? Will it be a solution to address the current situation? No. Uh, let me answer it this way. On, uh, on, the, 4th, on the 4th of March, I was in Abiyokuta. To celebrate with Excellency, the former president of Nigeria, Kikolu Shegun of Batanjo. I traveled from Adyokuta to Lagos, I traveled to Lagos, Adyokuta, and because of that thing, I didn't see anyone, one checkpoint of any kind, whether police, uh, army, or road safety, or whatsoever. I didn't find any. From Adyokuta to Lagos. But here, in Enugu, if you move from one local government to another, you find both police and soldiers and uh, what have you. Don't say you know, all these things, and not only that, they collect money from the motorists and the passengers. You know, so when somebody has a trip to make or they're supposed to take cycling, with me, he goes on making the trip in one hour or two hours. All these things are not the way out. I hope you understand. The point is that people are not happy. People are aggrieved. People are arrested. And he's showing all, 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 all the places. I have said it once and I'm repeating it now. There is a statement that the president of Nigeria can make now that the jubilation can law in the whole of South East. A statement from the presidency that the jubilation can law. People will be dancing all over the South East. And that will overwhelm any other form of insecurity. People are not happy. People are aggrieved. People are sad. So everyone else is, the more the steps, so the, the more aggrieved they will become when they will mount more of the critical point. The point is that I do the right thing. Okay. The critical is a collective, of all, what we call collective consciousness. All right. Uh, uh, that, uh, that, that, so yeah. when you let... When yeah, you do this, when yeah. the society is governed well, mm. there will be happiness on the basis of everybody. So you're, you're saying deplo security, deployment of, of, of more security, of security. So you're saying deployment of more security personnel, increased arms and ammunition in the southeast of has course, now, will not will not solve the situation. It's not solving the All problem. Right, thank you what very much. We, we have to go. 
Yes, uh, doctor. When you come with good policy, yeah. there will be smiles on the faces of most people. There will be jubilation galore. Thank you very much, Dr. Chiedoze Alex Obonia, the National Publicity Secretary of Ohanez Indigo Worldwide. It's been a thrill talking to you again, and we hope to um, do some more talking with you as we, we look for peace and resolution to this situation in the Southeast. Thank he's, you. he's joined us live from Enugu in Southeastern Nigeria. When we come back, we do some more talking. President Buhari has been in Lagos State, of course, commissioning and inaugurating. We'll talk to an expert on the implications and prospects of these commissionings for the Nigerian economy. Please stay with us.